What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we're doing another quote unquote theory is dead video. This time I'm looking at help on the way, the powers of F minor slash F Dorian, and a very cool lick that's very Garcia inspired that you can apply in the solo. So, hope you enjoyed the video. So, as obvious as it is, today we're talking about help on the way. F minor stuff. That part's really cool. Probably one of my favorite Grateful Dead parts. Side note, John plays that part like... As opposed to... Major 7th. Dominant 7. So, let's dive into the song more. F minor is the key, right? Or is it? Because this D comes up a couple of times in the progression, right? Even here. D. So D isn't in F minor, basically, right? It's F, G, a flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. So this D is coming from the major scale. Let's add that to the minor scale. So that is a minor scale with a major sixth Dorian. F Dorian that would be. F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, 
F. F Dorian. So now we know the scale. Where well, can we play it? We can play it right here. F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, right? F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, right? Even incorporate it in the pentatonic stuff, right? Right? So now how do we basically master that everywhere? Well, remember, it's just F minor, but with just one note difference. So you can basically do practicing that as F minor, but hit the D, right? The D. Right? Just remember, F minor, but with the D. Almost how I picture it in my head is like almost piano, for instance. In the piano world, all the white keys are C major. Take that same idea for the fretboard, just think, hit every note that's an F minor, but just hit the D. So hit your F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F. So if you know all the notes on your fingerboard, which you should and is extremely important, as well as key signatures, then you have all this freedom to say, here's my F, my A flat, C, B flat, D, E flat, F. Right? The ultimate goal, I think, for every all of us is this freedom to know where everything's on the fretboard. I think if you see it that way, just hit every note on the F minor scale, doesn't matter where you are, as long as you hit that D natural instead of that D flat, your goal is in, if that makes sense. So now, I want to show you guys this really cool lick that I do in the solo when it goes in this section. So let's zoom in now, upper register, and how you can incorporate a cool lick to hear the changes in your solo. So here we are, zoomed in, right? We have our F on the 15th fret of the D string, right? Right? F Dorian. So when this comes in the song, you can also do a climb up to get to that like this. Right? And what that climb up is, is I'm seeing this F minor G A flat B flat right and patterns of four D fl E flat F Right? One more time. That's something Jerry would do a lot, these patterns of four or five. Now the cool thing with F minor is that it's the same thing as A flat major, so just remember now, since we're in Dorian, instead of making this D flat, like an A flat and an F minor, make it a D, right? I guess my whole idea is just 
don't see the patterns, just know the notes on the fingerboard well, so you know when you're an F Dorian, you know the notes instead of patterns, right? Patterns are cool, but you wanna know the notes more and what makes up that scale so you have ultimate freedom on the fingerboard. So again, here's a lick. <laughs> One more time. Also with this F minor Dorian stuff, it's cool to incorporate other notes besides the one, three, five, and that kind of stuff. Incorporate the G, the ninth, or the minor third. And make it also pentatonic, right? Know your fingerboard. I cannot stress enough how important it is to know all the notes in your fingerboard so you have the luxury to dominate everything on the fingerboard, right? F, Dorian, and the freedom is everything. All right, guys, that's today's video on Help on the Way and the powers of F Dorian, a minor scale but with a major sixth, in this case being D. And how to navigate the fretboard, I guess for all of us, like I said in the video, the goal is ultimate freedom on the fingerboard so we can just play without thinking and yet still make music. That's the ultimate goal for all of us, I think. So if you enjoyed the video, please press like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.